Hello, this is a video on how constant mesh gearboxes work. Now, the engine drives through the clutch to the gearbox, driving these two bevel gears and then driving this drive train here, which is driving the five forward gears and the one reverse gear chain. Now, constant mesh means that these five gears that we saw at the back are constantly driving the five gears at the front and the one reverse chain gear at the back is driving the one reverse chain gear at the front but, because it's in neutral the output here is not turning yet all these gears are turning because they are not connected to the output shaft unless we select on the gear selector down there with a little hole on this shaft there's, a, there's the select bar which slides in and out on the gears which I'll uh, explain at the end of this video in a simple, simplified version. So now, first gear, it's connected that one gear there to the output shaft. So now it's turning the first gear. I'll go right over to the top gear, which is now connected that one gear there to that drive shaft. I'm going to reverse. Now the reverse gear has got the exactly same things as the four gears. It's got got the holes cut out of it for the, a little tab on the un, other end of the gear selector to slot into down there. So neutral, reverse. Now it's in reverse. As you can see, it's in opposite direction to these five gears. Okay, so I've now taken apart the gearbox, only leaving the first forward gear, the reverse gear, the gear selector, the drive shaft, and the case. So now how it actually works in engaging the gears is every gear, every gear that's on the output shaft, has four openings cut out for it to engage. So we'll cut it side on. As you can see, we've got the four openings all the way around. Now, on the gear selector, we have got two lumps of metal which slide on the selector shaft, and there's two tiny ones on the back for the reverse gear. So, for the forward gear, what we would do is, when we put it into gear, it slides underneath the forward gear, and when you lift your foot off the clutch, rotates, pushing against the lump, the tab of metal, which is pushing against the output shaft. So it's now rotating the output shaft. So, now for reverse gear, go back into neutral. Now, bear in mind these gears are always turning when you, oh, when you lift your foot off the clutch. Into reverse, so there's a little tab, there's two little tabs, one on that side and one on the other side, that slides underneath this lump on this gear to engage it. So now, there's the reverse gear engaged. So there you have it. Please uh, comment and don't hesitate to ask questions.